I know what you're thinking. How is he so perfect? <laughs> yes, my hair does fall in just the right place. Yes, my muscles are defined beyond what you are used to. And yes, it is my smile that is making your knees weak. But before you run off to make the checklist of all of my qualities that your man does not have, you should know a few things about me. This took late nights and patience. This took a lot of redrafting and sketching. You see, my creators took a lot of hours to make the character you know as Prince Charming. When I was commissioned, my goals were simple. Be awesome at everything, including but not limited to horseback riding, monster fighting, navigating, fencing, and being able to lift a woman in an 80-pound dress. But above all else, always rescue the girl. It's not as glorious as it sounds. But don't get me wrong, it definitely has its perks, like not having to have a job or a personality. But I'm wondering, how many princesses have to be rescued from evil witches before one of them asks me for my real name? Not that I'm opposed to my title, but all the creative geniuses that are paid so many millions of dollars to give me an existence, this is the best that they could come up with? I've never said anything remotely charming. Or any wine at all, for that matter. But if I'm going to be constantly reincarnated in your child's favorite fairy tale, why not come up with something a little bit more creative, like a kind-hearted musician, or a slightly humorous bartender, or a very educated cage fighter, as if women could only be rescued by mute royalty. I'm not sure that's what they're implying. I googled myself recently. Wikipedia defines me as a stock character. How can this be when I have battled every warlock and dragon and traveled excruciating distances through countless haunted forests and forbidden castles? It goes on to say that I am not distinguishable from other men. But I don't really know what that means when I was the only one brave enough to kiss Snow White when her cold, lifeless body couldn't handle some bad fruit. Yet the seven men she lived with weren't brave enough to step up to the plate, but we can all recite their names like the Lord's Prayer. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm kind of having a bit of an identity crisis recently. <laughs> Girls these days are offended by the idea of being rescued, especially by a Prince Charming when all I have done for a hundred years is outdated now. I've got no story to fall back on. I'm at a loss. But if I could, I would take all the detail put into these muscles and I would write myself a backstory. So you would know of the pressure that there is in the royal family to get married. And that I actually don't want to be out there in the first place. And the fact that I hate horses. <laughs> and singing. Yet, here we are. And if I could take all the graphite used to define my jawline, I would write dialogue with the princesses I have met. Because forever after is a long time to just sit silent. But of all of these things, I would take the colors that were pressed into me to make me so brilliant, throw them aside, and paint myself a new scene where I can just sit undefined in beautiful, blissful serenity. And maybe someone could see how drained I've become and rescue me for once. But these kind of dreams are only saved for the three-dimensional. So all that I can do, all that I will do, is just saddle up my horse and sing a song with some woodland creatures because I'm sure there's a princess somewhere out there that needs saving. Awesome.